Edwards, guys man in the air. Drives! That's a good statement to start for Vince Edwards. Purdue currently on a six-game win streak and all alone at the top of the Big Ten Conference. And one of the guys responsible, or at least in part responsible, for the success of the Boilermakers is Vincent Edwards. And we are fortunate that he joins us now for our Tire Pros campus interview. And uh, Vince, I, I want to start by asking you about being a utility player because you really have become somewhat of a Mr. Do-It-All. You're averaging 10 points per game, five rebounds, and three assists assists do you kind of embrace this role as mr. do-it-all uh, definitely I, I like playing the role because the more versatile you are the harder it is to keep you, yourself off the floor I mean and it, it makes you active on the court it gets you going and gets your motor going and it, it makes you play harder so yeah I like to embrace that you know that utility uh, role that coach Penner has given me and that he wants me to play and I'm enjoying it and I'm having a lot of fun you guys are coming off of a very close game against Penn State. You won in overtime, but Penn State managed to get more points in the paint and out-rebounded you guys, but you still found a way to win. How much confidence does that give you as you come here towards the end of the season and heading into March? Uh, that's huge for our team, you know, for our guys to be able to stick together. It was a really tough place to play, you know, and they play really hard. They're a young team, but they're really athletic. They use their athleticism quite well. They were making shots, you know, making hustle plays, and it seemed like everything was just bouncing their way. So for our guys, you know, be able to stick together, make some tough shots, get some stops, and play the right way and play together and come out of Penn State with the win, that's huge. You guys were in a little bit of a shooting slump before that Penn State game, but managed to finish the game with 12 threes. You had three. How good did that feel to finally start hitting some of those long shots? It felt great because it makes it easier on our offense for us to be able to you know, knock shots down consistently because now it just keeps you in a bind because once you double team down on our post, we got to be able to make open shots on the perimeter. So then it puts you in a bind and it's kind of a pick your poison scenario. So when we're making shots, it makes us that much better of a team. Up next for you guys is Michigan, and Michigan has been pretty dangerous throughout the Big Ten this season. How are you approaching that game? We're approaching it, you know, with the same mindset that we would approach any game. Uh, every game from here on out is tough. It's huge, and it's it's big for us. We, we want to win a Big Ten championship, and to be able to do that, you got to go on the road and win. Michigan's a great team. They play really good at home. It's a tough environment. They make a lot of shots. They move the ball really well, and they, like you said, they've been dangerous all year. So we got to come in there ready to uh, ready to play, be focused with the, you know a grit mindset, and just be ready to go. How would you describe this Purdue team right now at this point in the season? Um, the way to describe us, I would just say, you know, hungry. Because, you know, we've, some of us, you know, in this junior class who's been through this program for three years now, we've been waiting for a moment like this. And to add the pieces that we've added, you know, with Carson and having Big E's back with us for the second year and all the guys in the locker room were, were ready for this moment. I feel like the guys have been preparing and working so hard all off season and summer to prepare for everything, you know, where we're sitting at right now. So that's the way I would describe us as a team. You have a little bit of a unique perspective because you tried for the NBA last season, decided to come back. How did that experience help you this season and get to where you are right now? I'm just hearing those guys talk and giving their feedback on me and what they thought I needed to do to uh, be a better player it was huge for me to be able to hear that criticism and take, you know, a lot of people would take that cr criticism and think, you know, it was bad, but they're only telling me the truth just to help me to be able to get there, you know, the next year or the year after that. So to be able to go through that process and work out for some teams and get that kind of information, I think it's helped my game a lot, you know, and I would continue to you know, do what they told me to work on and just continue to try to help my team win. What do you think this team still needs to do in order to win the Big Ten championship? I would just say we just need to take care of the ball. And take care of the ball as a team and uh, make a lot of the shots. And we need to be simple on offense. And then, of course, we got to play defense. If we don't win the championship, you got to play defense. So we play good, te uh, good team defense and take care of the ball. I feel like we'll be fine. All right, we got some Twitter questions from some of the biggest Purdue fans out there. So I want to ask you a couple of these because these are some great questions. Uh, one is, how does last year's NCAA tournament game impact your thoughts going into this year's tournament? I mean, it's impacted tremendously. And honestly, uh, going through that 
the past two years and those losses have been hard for us, you know, as a group. And uh, we're, we're ready to try to, you know, bounce back. And, you know, my mind is getting getting there and getting back there and just getting through that first round, you know, just being in a tournament is not good enough for me or it's not good enough for our team. We want to get through that first round and be able to make a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Another question coming from Tyler Fox. What mindset does Coach P have this team in knowing that there's a Big Ten title looming down the road? Coach P does a good job with us and keeping our mindset, you know, and just keeping us focused. It's more of a tunnel vision, as I would say, just because of the fact that he knows how close we are. He's been telling us we're a team that's capable of doing it, and he's been trying to keep that, that hunger and that grit in his team the whole time and just that fight. So I think he's done a good job as being the leader, you know, of this program, and he's done a good job of putting us in the positions that we need to be in in order for us to win. All right, Vince. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck with the rest of the season and heading into the tournament. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me.